The Eschebach Complex was a factory in Dresden, Germany. It's my first ever industrial build and a new asset update from my side. Hey guys, this is Titan. Looking on the workshop, I noticed there really isn't that much variety when it comes to industrial assets, preferably older looking ones. So it was clear to me that at some point I'll need to make some myself as soon as I need it. So here we have the facilities of the former United Eschebach factories. This company was founded in 1877 at the height of the industrial revolution in Germany. Together with the country's whole economy it grew rapidly. In 1886, only 10 years later, a proper factory was bought in Radeberg near Dresden and in the year of 1900 all the existing facilities were too small again and the new industrial complex was built for the company in a suburb of Dresden. And this factory complex is what I built for the game. The company grew to one of the biggest producers for kitchen appliances in Germany. The economic crisis 1929 however hit the company hard. The factory complex only built 30 years prior had to be sold again, the company moved back to Radeberg. The complex survived World War II however without any noteworthy damage and then housed the publicly owned company for cardboards. After the reunification of Germany this too stopped production, effectively ending 90 years of industrial use for the complex. In 1990 the complex was thoroughly renovated and nowadays houses offices. The initial builder of the complex, the Eschebach company, still exists today, though much smaller. What I made now is a pack of 8 different buildings. There are a main entrance and a depot building, and corner as well as middle towers and modules, both in 4 and 5 story versions. Actually belonging to the complex is also an engine house situated in the middle, However, I didn't yet make that one as I myself don't really have use for it. I might still do it, however, so keep an eye out. Also belonging to the set is a small modern brick wall. When plopping that one you might notice a slight difference in color to the main buildings. This is due to the brick wall having modern bricks in contrast to the older ones of the factory complex itself. That however is not a problem and I can show you why in just a second.
I arranged all the brick textures of the pack in a way that you can freely choose their color using TPB's Painter mod. Be it the original red color of the bricks, a more yellowish tone, a green shade or well even a pink one if you fancy it. You basically can do whatever you want. I uploaded three different versions of the pack to the workshop and provided each with them with different probable Rico XMLs. That means using this mod of course, you can use this complex as office or residential building or its original industrial use. Coming to the technical side here, all modules combined have 28,000 tries with around 4 to 5,000 tries being the average here a somewhat reasonable number for the amount of detail I put into the model. All modules share the same texture, the loading screen mod will come handy here. And the LOD models all together have only 660 tries. I hope you like this video and again more important, the assets as well. Please leave a like and comment if you did so and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Liking the assets on Steam helps a lot and us asset creators would really appreciate it. I also have a Discord server so you can jump on there if you want to get in touch with me or others who follow my works. If you really want to support me further with small rewards like early access to assets for videos, check out my Patreon page as linked in the description. And a huge thanks to people who already support me on Patreon. Now if you're interested in more of my buildings here on the right side you can switch to my last asset and a playlist with all of my assets. And then make sure to also follow me on Twitter, over there I post some work in progress pictures and other stuff. Until then, stay healthy, stay tuned, see you in my next video, bye.